Hello everyone, welcome back to IVS YouTube channel. Today I will demonstrate how to create a virtual machine in Azure with Linux based operating system. The first opcode.azure.com. The first open virtual machine and click on create. Select resource group if you have already created, otherwise, click on create to create a new resource group. Now give a name of this virtual machine. Lib as it is its send standard. Choose image as Ubuntu Server 20.04. Choose the appropriate size of this VM. Over here I am using a 4 virtual CPU and 8 GB of RAM. For authentication choose SSH public key. Give a username of this virtual machine. Give a name for key pair. I have given it as a test. Choose allow selected ports for public inbound ports. SSH22 should be the inbound port. To add more storage, click on the disk. Choose a disk type. Uh, you can choose standard or premium. If you want to add more disk space, you can add it from here. Everything else leave as it is. Now click on review plus create. Once Azure review your virtual machine, over here you will see validation passed and over here you will see the cost of this virtual machine. Now we are all set, you just have to click on create. After that, you will get a pop-up to download key pair. Click on download private key and create resource. It will be downloaded the .pem file and deploy the virtual machine. It will take some time to deploy the virtual machine. Once it's deployed, click on go to resource. Over here, you can see the status of this virtual machine is running. That means our virtual machine is deployed and it's running. Now we need to access it from our local system. For that, click on connect and then SSH. Wait for the testing the connection. Once it's done, copy this and open notepad in your local system and paste it. Provide the .pem file path over here. For me, this file is downloaded in download folder. From there, I have copied the path. Since my local system have Windows 11, so I am just, we just right click it and copy the path. If you are using Windows 10, first right click on the file, then go to properties and then securities. You can copy it from over here. Now paste the .pem file path over here. Since my OS is installed in C drive and the file I have downloaded, it's also in C drive. So I remove the drive path and just put a tilde over here. If your file is located in some other drive, you can leave as it is. Now copy this whole command. In your local system, open command prompt. And paste it using right click and then press enter to run it. It will ask you a permission. Write yes and then press enter. Now you will connect it to your Linux based virtual machine from your local system. That's it for today's video demonstration. Till then, take care. Bye bye.